right? Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rapak, Dash, double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone, salutations, much love and respect to Yaki out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. All right, uh, this lesson is going to be entitled, We Are Here to Protect the Flock. Okay, and we do not care what your opinion is of that. All right. If someone is going off, we're going to expose them. Okay, we're going to bring out names. We're going to pull up the pictures so that the flock could know to stay away from them and the doctrine, right, that they're pushing. Okay, and it might not be an, a doctrine. It might be a, an, uh, an action that they're doing, like extortion. All right, um, that, that guy, Yahweh the Maccabees, he has been outed for extorting brethren okay and, and sister all right and that's a great offense man that's a great offense see that had me thinking about that guy yara dunn man what he was doing to the camp man you know and that brought tears to my eyes when when, when he when he was doing that man all right when i found that out man i was hurt because it's like yo how can you do that to a man of the Lord? how can you do that to your brother someone that believes in yahweh shah just like you we have to warn about those type of things. Those type of things cannot go unspoken about, uh, unexposed. Okay, the scripture says, "Cursed be he that keepeth his sword from blood." All right, which is dealing with what spiritually. Okay, when you when you spiritually keep your sword from blood, all right, from exposing, from rebuking, because that's also a law. See, because you have these guys speaking about the law, the law, the law, but then when it comes to the law, they don't they they get offended. Okay, when we pull out, when we bring out the law, they get offended at things in the law. You see? So, at the end of the day, the scripture says to what? Rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So that's coming for an individual. It might be like his first, you know, his first warning about a particular thing, second warning, maybe third warning. But there's, after, there's a certain point where we're done warning that individual and now it's all about warning the flock to stay away from that individual. Okay? You see? That's all scriptural. It says to rebuke a sinner before all that others may fear. So the first, so you're supposed to rebuke him to the point to put fear in the, the other people. But th then if he's not receiving the rebuke, if he, get, if he bucks up against the rebuke, or he's not receiving the rebuke, then you're not really even dealing with him anymore. It's between him and y'all by Shib Yahweh Shai at that point. But you're warning the flock and you're using certain things that he's saying for edification purposes. Okay? You know, we tackle certain points for edification purposes and say, okay, he said such and such. Let's go into the scriptures and debunk what he said. See, these are not personal things. These are not personal because we don't like the way a brother you know, stepped on our, he stepped on our shoe, you know what I mean, and he scuffed, he, let's say he scuffed my white uh, Jordans, and now I'm mad, you know, now I got a grudge against that brother, no, the scriptures speak about holding a grudge against your brother as well, guess what, if they were to repent and to turn back and to, to teach the right doctrine, we wouldn't have no problem with them, if they, if they would have said, matter of fact, we would praise them, we would actually praise them, if they would stop and say, you know what, I went off, okay, you know, may Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai have mercy on me, Ray, Ray, Ray. We would praise that, brother. We would use that as an example of how to be. Because we all go off. We all might, you know, slip, have a slip of the tongue. We all might uh, do things that are not calmly in the sight of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai at times. But the scriptures say a righteous, a righteous man uh, falls seven times, but get it up. Right? But how can you get up if you don't realize that you've fallen? And that's the thing with certain guys. They don't realize that they're going off. They don't realize that they've been deceived by the spiritual demon Satan. And if they're deceived by the spiritual demon Satan, then Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai wanted them to be deceived. And it's as simple as that. Okay? If they if they were deceived by the spiritual demon Satan, that's because Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai wanted them to be deceived. And there's nothing that you can do or we can do to change their mindset 
because the scriptures say that they were they were seared, their conscience dealing with their spirit was seared with a hot iron, <laughs> and that iron is in the heavens. So you can't we can't take that away. The only thing we can do is is uh, warn the flock to stay away from that because the elect is not going to fall into that. But the Lord is using us to steer certain of the elect sheep from that because sheep need guidance sheep are not created to just be on their own like that sheep are created to have shepherds man when they're on their own they're very simple they're very um naive okay they're easily let led astray so that's why you have uh, shepherds you have um sheep dogs you know that keep them in line and that's what we're doing we're keeping them in line you know, and, and they act like like Paul didn't call Satan on certain dudes and didn't warn the flock about certain guys, Hymenaeus and, and these different characters because of their wickedness. They act like that. Those scriptures don't exist, though, or Paul was going off. He wasn't going off because Yahweh Shai did the same thing. Yahweh Shai did the same thing. He told the, the wicked scribes and Pharisees that you would die in your sins. He called them what? Scorpions, vipers. So the, the elders making these claims and things like that, you know, they get on the elder Manata Zakba and these different elders for going out and, and speaking, you know, calling people certain, you know, certain things. Well, guess what? Yahweh Shai did that, All right? Yahweh Shai did that, and it's not a thing of uh, um, of a, a personal thing. And yes, brothers might could get carried away with these things, but it really doesn't matter. What is what is the what is the point? What is the message behind it? What is the overall uh, fact are they going off or are they not going off are they teaching correct doctrine or are they teaching false doctrine if they're teaching false doctrine then what you need to be focusing on is getting your doctrine correct let's see how about should be able to try to destroy you that's it it's that simple that's it all right the scripture says no lies of the truth so we have to teach the hundred percent correct doctrine and continuing the things which we have learned Right, and every every so often there's a there's doctrines out there that carry away people that are in the truth. All right, every so often, man. I remember years ago it was that flat Earth doctrine. Okay, that carried away all kind of all kind of people dealing with the flat Earth, which is really not even a, an important topic. Oh, the Earth is really flat, brother. You don't believe that? And where are they now? And where the hell are they? Okay, you see what I'm saying? And, and you can see these patterns, man. These people buck up and they get mad at certain things they don't understand because the Spirit didn't reveal it unto them. And instead of praying about it or waiting and patiently waiting for Yahweh Shemel Shai to reveal it unto you, you decide to say, "Nah, I got the truth," which makes no sense. Why? Why would the Why would Yahweh Shemel Shai do that? You telling me the, the Most High is fickle? He's dealing with a per people and a person to build you up and, and for all these years and then after that no he just he just switches and deals with you and then another upstart can just come out of nowhere and out the most is dealing with him now all right and you got to follow him it that's, that's confusion the lord is not the heavenly father uh is not the author of confusion all right so that's the thing man the bottom line is we're supposed to be here to protect the and feed the sheep. The Lord said what? If you love me, Peter, feed my sheep. Yeah, you feed the sheep, but then you see a wolf coming and you don't tell the sheep that the wolf is coming? What sense does that make? What's the point of feeding them? You're just fattening them up for the you're just fattening them fattening them up for the wolf? No, you have to you have to also warn them. You have to also guide them away from uh, false teachers and false uh, uh, brethren so that they don't get caught up and that they're not destroyed by teaching false doctrines, man. You see, Jake Jake is emotional, man. Jake is real emotional. And when you bring it to Jake the way the, way the ancient men brought it to the, the men of the old, you see that these Jakes are not really in an in Eastern spirit. They're really in a Western spirit. They're really in, in, in the spirit of, uh, of black culture. They're not in the spirit of being an Israelite because, they, like, like 
you know, like we always say, you know, uh, rebuke is in the law. Re rebuke is part of our culture. It's, it's in the law. It's in the law to rebuke thy neighbor, man. It also says rebuke is better than secret love. So why do these guys get all offended when they're getting rebuked? Instead of changing, they, they prefer to get offended. It makes no sense. So we're not going to stop exposing these people. We're not going to stop speaking against these people, you know, because they're teaching false doctrines. All right. They're teaching false doctrines and they're doing things that are not right. So I don't know why you would say that, why you would think we wouldn't get on the guy, Howard the Maccabees, if he's extorting brothers. They're sending him money and then he's saying that's or, or, or the curse of the curse of the mouth, saying they didn't send the right amount of money. That's, that's wickedness. That's pure evil. That's pure evil, man. And I'll say this too, the, the, wind, the eyes are the windows to the soul, and I'll leave it at that, okay? That's pure wickedness, man. You're going to tell somebody they're going to give you money. If someone gives me a, a 50 cents, says, brother, this is all I have, I got 50 cents, and, you know, hopefully, okay, okay, the water may, I'll buy Shemel Rashad, bless you, brother. Because guess what? Remember the woman with the one pence? One, the one pence, Yahweh Shai said, remember, she gave more than, see, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai was in vain like you, you niggas, man. Yahweh Shai was not vain, man. He was very much 100% spiritual and a man of integrity, man. He wasn't vain, man. All right? He recognized, man. He recognized. And if and guess what? If they would have gave off Yahweh all those riches and that woman would have offered that one pence, Yahweh Shah would have had more respect for that one pence that that woman offered. That one little pence that that woman offered, he would have had respect for that over the, 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 the whatever millions of dollars are worth of gold and silver and, and all that. That them 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 um them uh those uh, covetous wicked uh, scribes and Pharisees were given because that was the integrity and the spirituality of Yahweh Shai. But you people don't have any integrity. You don't have any integrity. You don't have spirituality, man. You're not spiritual. Okay. Someone gives you something, and you complain about how much they're giving. Y'all, you lucky to even get something, bro. Shit, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't never got nothing from Well, you know, out there preaching There were certain instances where the Lord had the spirit uh, You know, jump on people to give me bread Like, you know I'm thinking of like two instances But it's not like We get constantly getting bread from people At least not uh, most of the brothers Most of the brothers ain't constantly getting bread from people Like I said, I can only think of like two times where People actually gave some, some, some bread You know, from the outside You know You know, uh, you know so, and that's not important. That's not important. And, or there was a guy that's recently, he just gave, he just gave a pack of cookies, man. Every time he passes, he, you know, he kind of like takes off his hat, you know, and he gets, he decided to pass. He took off his hat. You no, know, it's like he was throwing up a prayer and he, and he gave a pack of cookies, man. And you know what? I gave him a blessing. I gave him a blessing, man. And may he be blessed because that was a, a that was from the heart. All right. May he be blessed because that was a, a an act from the heart. Okay. You could tell that was a heartfelt act. You know, I was I was not interested in eating cookies, bro. I'm not, I wasn't interested in the cookies, but that I saw that that came from the heart. So I said, "Yo, yeah, yeah, yo, blessing to you." And if he passed by, I'm gonna give him a blessing, and I'll, I'll offer him water if he if he if he if he stays if he's sticking around and listen. I'll offer him some water too. Okay. All right. And let's say let's say he needed money. Let's say if he was out, out on his luck, I would I, I, you know I would give some money and ask the brothers if they have something to give to this brother, man. Right, just for that one act, just because I see the sincerity in the man, it's not about the money, man. Is money good? Yeah, no, no, for sure. Money, money is a defense. So if people give money and it's, it's going to help us, and it could obviously help us. We're the poor, we're the poor of the earth. All right. So it's not like Jake don't need money. It's not like Jake can't use a, a few hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars. Come on, bro. You see what I'm saying? But if someone is giving something out of the sincerity of their heart and you're not appreciative of that, that means th that person is a covetous person. That's a covetous person and that's not a man of the Lord. That's not someone that's in the spirit of Yahweh Shah. And we are going to rebuke and we are going to reprove that. We're not going to let that slide. We are going to rebuke and we are going to reprove that because that's a wicked, evil spirit. And you and you brothers and you sisters, you got to start stop being so simple too because if a guy's acting like that, you should be, oh, yeah, that, that's what it's about. Okay, well, then, you know, you see? You understand? 
you know, so, so, hey, anyways, man, um, you know, with that, that's the, you know, that's pretty much it, that's all I had to say, really, we want to drag this on too long, and I'll uh, give all praises, glory, and honor to you, Al-Bashim, Al-Shai, Bashim, Kakodash, the Blast, the Apostle, and Elders, Great Millstone, Shalom.